George Jeffries began his spirit-filled ministry in the first half of the 20th century as a healing evangelist. Thousands came to Christ as a result of the four-part gospel he preached, Jesus as Savior, Healer, Baptizer and the Holy Spirit. And coming King, Jeffries was a product of the Welch Revival, which first brought him into the Kingdom of God. Not only was the Welch Revival responsible for his conversion, but it also influenced his vision of the body of Christ and would do so. For the rest of his life in Jeffrey's concept of the kingdom of God, revival was not to be considered a mere hope for the future. It was available to the church today. Jeffries knew that God moved in power to bring people to their knees in repentance and new life, and he wanted to see the flames of that revival ignite the hearts of men and women all over the globe. God placed Jeffries in the apostolic office according to Ephesians 4:11. This office signifies a servant whom God sends out with the message of the gospel of Christ to those who live in areas bereft of God's word. Through signs, miracles, and wonders that accompany their teaching, they birth new churches. Jeffries was a true apostle. He preached conversion and built churches today. Conferences with numerous speakers may fill various halls and conference centers, but Jeffries, with his apostolic mantle from the Lord and the power of the Holy Spirit, filled the Royal Albert Hall, the Crystal Palace, and Bingley Hall, among others all by himself as such. George Jeffries deserves to be recognized as one of God's generals, who was used to birth the Pentecostal movement in Great Britain, as well as to help pioneer the healing revivals of the 20th century. God's generals, the healing evangelists Jesus Saves TV,